What's up, YouTube? I'm back with a new video. If you've been following me on uh, Instagram, then you know I got a new device, the Pocket 3. Today, I just want to talk about why the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 should definitely be in everybody's kit. Before I get deep into the video, I just want to do a quick unboxing video just to kind of show you everything that the device comes with. So check it out now. Okay, so. All right, so I'm gonna break this video down into a couple sections, but number one, I wanna highlight the pros. Form factor, video quality, and just the usability. All of those things combined, A++++. Keep in mind, I think when DJI designed this device, not only is it you know marketed towards like vloggers and stuff like that, it's also for independent creators, um, especially independent filmmakers, photographers, music video directors, anybody who wants to document their life um, outside of their phone with better quality, but something that's as easy to use as a phone. So probably uh, the biggest thing I enjoy using this device for is gonna be behind the scenes. For example, now you see that I'm using a completely different angle. Now I'm not saying I'll use it for YouTube to switch back and forth. I do prefer the video quality out of this Lumix, but when I'm out recording other videos and setting up, this thing is perfect because you can literally set it on a tripod and it can just document you um, with the face tracking mode or another uh, mode like and you can just kind of capture behind the scenes content without having to tell somebody hey this is how you work this camera here's the shutter button so for bts 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend i can also see how this device would definitely be useful for like um, people just getting into vlogging and different things like that um the size of the camera is very discreet the creator combo actually does come with the dji mic too which is also it's actually a pretty good deal it comes with the battery it comes with a little bit of everything so definitely if you're somebody who's looking to like vlog and do different things like that and just be a little bit more discreet this camera is definitely for you and of course you got to keep in mind i'm somebody who's used the gopro 12 um gopro 5 i've also had the the sony rx02 so i've used several smaller cameras including which the one i still own which is my gopro um, fusion 360 which is still my favorite 360 camera now you got to keep in mind this isn't necessarily an action camera but it can do action things so we gotta we gotta get that straight right there if you're somebody who's going to do like underwater diving and different things like that then a hundred thousand percent um the gopro or even the dji action cameras is definitely going to be better for something like that um, but for those of us who aren't really doing the action sports this is probably the best thing on the market right now that I've ever tested. So I just wanna, <clears throat> like I said, this video is gonna be quick. I don't have a whole lot of cons. The only thing I dislike about this camera, and it's something that I 100% knew about it before I bought it, is gonna be the low light capability. Um, this definitely isn't a low light camera. I would compare it to, um, shoot, it's a little bit better than the iPhone at night, but as anybody knows who shoots videos, the more lights, the better the quality is gonna be. So that's really the only con. Um, battery life is okay, it's not terrible, but I do have the creator combo. So by me having that creator combo, um, it comes with the extra battery. If I'm not mistaken, you can actually plug up an external battery. So you can extend your battery either way. So that's honestly a cheap fix. Um, but yeah, this camera to me, definitely gonna be marketed towards um, number one creators or people who just wanna start trying to create content or very experienced creators, kind of like myself. Like I say, for behind the scenes, this is probably a dream come true. You know, if they could increase the low light capability, it would be even better. But honestly, if it gets to the point where you're shooting at night, get you a BTS photographer or a BTS videographer. But if you don't have that, you want something quick, easy to use, make content with, boom, this is the device. Also, before I get out of here, I wanna highlight uh, making reels, TikTok, Instagram reels, Facebook reels, all of that YouTube shorts, all of that good stuff with this device you can shoot transfer to your phone because it does have that automatic vertical mode and um honestly it just makes it easier so like i say the creator combo is definitely a creator combo and this device is definitely something that all creators should use i wish the price was a little bit cheaper so more people could get it but as we know um that's just how technology goes a new camera comes out the price is going to be higher and then the older model is going to get cheaper um do i recommend a creator combo or the regular combo i think it just depends the creator combo is the better deal if you're somebody who's going to get an extra battery going to get a microphone 
and also going to get like a case and all that then yeah it's just better to go ahead and pay for it up front if you're somebody who wants to buy it later boom you can get the basic and do it later but this camera i mean it's definitely it's definitely probably my favorite camera that i own right now and um, i look forward to making more videos with it i'm making shorts with it and all types of stuff like i say follow me on instagram and you'll see more content with it but for anybody looking for a camera to get them started or something to just use to accompany their other cameras for example i have a couple different videos coming up where i'm for sure going to be using this and i'll be able to talk about it more in the future as well as show everybody but like i said um quick short video dji y'all did the damn thing as somebody who owned the phantom 4 way back that was my first ever dji product hey i'm proud of that company and um overall they're making good products let's just keep it up but the Osmo, um the hype is real like i said for people that know how to use it not only know how to use it but for people who want to create content the hype is real it's a thousand percent worth it um like i say the autofocus the face detection is it's definitely great and honestly when you have a, a plenty of light the camera's great is it going to compete with my s5 II or my z cam or my red hell no but it's not meant for that this is meant behind the scenes travel creative content quickly send it to your phone uh, make a video and kind of go from there but hey i hope you all enjoyed this video thank you for tuning in thank everybody for subscribing to my channel man i'm like i said this year i'm actually be consistent i've been telling myself that for years but uh man keep it going let's just keep up the great work everybody 2024 is going to be our best year this is our best year every day is the best day and let's keep it going and keep it pushing peace